2015, the Public Education Foundation took over the School Related Employee of the Year program. Prior to that, it was something that was managed by the school district. And the foundation happily took that program over, so we got committee members to read and score all of those applications. Every school and every department can nominate their School Related Employee of the Year. So three years ago, we instituted the Above and Beyond Award. So that is for someone that did not become a district finalist or a district winner for School Related Employee of the Year, but someone that really deserves the credit and recognition for not only being good at their job, being great at their job and going above and beyond and doing things that, um, that others haven't even asked them to do, seeing what needs to be done and doing it before they're asked, making sure that what they do that's done professionally and in a warm and friendly way, and making sure that those that work with them uh, feel, feel good about that person. They feel good about coming to work and working with them every day. And so for three years now, we've been able to give out that award and it's been something really special. We have been able to recognize um, two plant managers or day custodians and, and a school bus driver as well. And of course our bus drivers do have those daily interactions with students and that's really important. I think that um, adding the above and beyond award to the School Related Employee of the Year celebration has um, maybe not completely leveled the playing field, but it makes everyone feel like they're be, they have the opportunity to be recognized for a job well done. And when that winner's name is called, the folks from their school or their department are as, just as excited as the winner is. Um, because when you work with someone that's great, you're so excited for them to be recognized for their hard work. And I'm um, sure, yes, bus drivers see students every day. And, and you can make the argument that plant managers or day custodians do the same. But again, on that rubric, when you're comparing that to perhaps maybe a paraprofessional that's actually hands-on working with students every day, um, it's just a little skewed. And um, so we want everyone to feel like they have um, representation in this process. We've got lots of employees and the work that they do is what keeps our school district running and we wanted to say thanks. The Black History Museum and Archives of Marion County housed inside Howard Academy Community Center reopened to the public last week. It closed for a short time so that it could be renovated and updated. It now includes a new electronic kiosk full of information, vintage photographs, artifacts, and many other wonderful things to see and read about black history. It is free to the public and it will soon offer field trip opportunities to students. For more information about tours and hours of operation, please call 352-671-4175. The Mayon Reading Challenge that occurred over the Christmas break was a hit, and a prize patrol visited many schools in the area, including Saddlewood Elementary and Madison Street. My own projects that I've created that go along oh. with our CKLA, so that's Great. kind of a two for one there. Um, but those are just some of the things we do in our classroom that I can think about right now. But it's a special group, and um, I enjoy helping try to meet some of their needs. So. Well, a special group with a special teacher. So, congratulations for everything. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Congratulations. And there's your certificate. Oh, yeah. And in there is a gift card for $100 that you can spend on whatever you'd like for your class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the superintendent approached us about you know partnering. I've got uh, you know two young kids, Marion County Public Schools, and you know, I know one of the things we love to do the most is is reading. And and when she came and she approached us about uh, partnering with the school system and doing the Mayon Challenge, which is you know really kind of getting kids excited about reading and spending you know consistent time reading and kind of developing that love for reading. And uh, so when she brought that uh, to us to have an opportunity to partner with uh, Marion County Public Schools and doing that was something uh, we were very excited to do. This challenge is cultivating a love for literacy. Not defined by points, it's really all about the love of reading for all students. With all the titles of books being on the internet, it's accessible by all students regardless of where they may be, as long as they have the means. It's a high quality of text that we can ensure are in all the devices of all students. Other schools the Pride Patrol visited was Fort McCoy Elementary, Maplewood Elementary, and last but not least, 8th Street Elementary. And the Mayon Challenge was met. Kindergarten 226 hours, first grade 296 hours, 
second grade 490 hours, third grade 340 hours, fourth grade 360 hours, and fifth grade 289 hours, total of 2,005 hours. The MyOn website is extremely easy to navigate. Using your Marion County School Board credentials, you can open up a world of thousands of book titles all at the touch of a button and movement of a mouse. It's easy to follow text from Capstone and other daily news articles. With a customized dashboard, students can take ownership and be given suggestions via the program. Another MyOn challenge just ahead during Spring Break 2019. So polish up your reading skills. It's incredibly meaningful, right? And all the different things we do with uh, Marion County and taking care of healthcare services here, getting a chance to come back and see, you know, what the teachers are doing with our students, and just the, the you know, the excitement around reading, the excitement around winning the challenges, and things like that, and the energy that, uh, that the teachers bring to that uh, is pretty incredible to see. And so, getting a chance to come here and recognize the teachers for the incredible work they do is incredibly meaningful for myself personally and. Obviously, on behalf of Ocala Health, we're very appreciative of all they do. Since our winter break reading challenge was such a success, we're bringing it back for spring break and expanding it to all grade levels, 6 through 12. This year, our elementary theme is... My on Madness. Get in the game and read. Marion County Public Schools is encouraging elementary students to read over spring break by taking advantage of the 6,000 books available on My on. Elementary students can log in through their MCPS student desktop portal. For more information regarding how to log on, please contact your child's teacher. This reading challenge runs March 15th through March 24th. Students will have the opportunity to win a Community Reads water bottle filled with goodies. The top student in grades K-5 at each school with the most minutes read will receive this prize. Students with the most pages read will receive a basketball themed book and a coupon for a free dessert from Papa John's. Students with the most minutes read on the first day of spring break, which is Monday, March 18th, will receive a basketball themed book and a $25 Amazon gift card. The top four classes with the highest average of minutes read will receive a pizza party sponsored by Papa John's. The top elementary student with the most minutes read district-wide will receive a basketball-themed book, a $50 Amazon gift card, and two free tickets to the Crayola Experience. Prior to spring break, all elementary students will receive a bookmark to promote this Mayan Spring Break Reading Challenge. Winners will be announced starting April 8th. Now I'm going to pass the ball over to Miss Leeds who will explain the reading challenge details for students in grades 6 through 12. Thanks Jenna. Welcome to the March Madness secondary students. It is time to get in the game and read. Our 2019 Gale Spring Break Reading Challenge is here. This year's theme is get in the game and read. Marion County Public Schools encourages students to read over spring break by taking advantage of the thousands of academic articles available on Gale Digital Resources. Students can log in through their Marion County Public Schools student desktop portal. Students can get their school media specialist to assist them with any access issues they have with Gale Digital Resources. The challenge runs March 15th through March 24th. How about some prizes? All students with complete brackets will be entered into a drawing. One middle school and one high school student will receive a $50 gift card. One middle school media specialist and one high school media specialist will be randomly selected from all participating secondary schools for a $100 gift card. All teachers of the magnificent duo will be entered into a drawing for a $50 gift card. One middle school and one high school teacher will be selected. All teachers of the school with the most completed entries will be entered into a random drawing for a $50 gift card. One middle school and one high school teacher will be selected from the top schools. Prior to spring break, all students in grades 6 through 12 will receive an email in their district issued student email with the contest details. Winners will be announced beginning April the 8th, 2019. Happy reading students! For students planning to attend college, the ACT and SAT tests are vitally important, as one or both will be required for admission to almost all undergraduate programs in the United States. They can also help you earn financial aid for school.
Students should take the ACT and or the SAT beginning their junior year in high school and continue to take them to improve your score. Please know that some colleges and universities super score ACT and SAT results, meaning they take an average of your scores. So be sure to take these tests early and often. Spring break is coming up, but before making vacation plans, you might want to sign up for the next ACT test. The registration deadline is March 8th for the test on April 13th. You can visit collegeboard.org or act.org and be sure to speak with your school counselor for more information.